this is like my third cup of tea today i'm like drinking so much tea lately i love the turmeric tea the mint tea and the ginger tea especially with a little bit of lemon and honey it's so good so i've been doing a lot of chatty videos lately i'm loving the response and i love that i can just open up and connect with you all more so i'm going to be doing more of these and i'm just gonna keep it real First off, I want to send all my love, my prayers, all positive vibes to all of you that are going through this entire coronavirus situation and it's been so frustrating and heartbreaking and it feels like I'm in a scary movie. It doesn't even seem real and I hate it. Just know you guys are not alone. We can do this together. I completely isolated myself from my friends and it's for the better. I feel like the world is shifting for the better. I have hope and have faith that things are gonna get better. So let's just, um, you know, think of the positive things in this time of sadness and pain because I can't, like, I can't even imagine, you know, what what people are going through. Outside of, you know, being in LA, a lot of people in China and Italy and just everywhere, there's so much going on. And so I, I definitely send my love, prayers, and positive vibes to you guys. <sighs> so a lot of you have been asking me, you know, where's Don? Why aren't you wearing your wedding ring? Are you guys together? Why aren't you posting with him anymore? So many questions. I've been so overwhelmed with messages and comments, but you know, I know that you guys care. I feel that you guys deserve to know what's going on because we've invested so much in our social media to let you guys know, you know, our relationship and to give advice in relationships and the things that we go through. So I feel like you guys deserve to know what's going on. And the answer is no. Me and Don are no longer together. We actually broke up three months ago and it's been very hard it's been an emotional roller coaster you know one minute i'm upset mad confused sad angry crying laughing like it's literally an emotional roller coaster just because you know all of you know how we were invested in this relationship like me and don for those that don't know, me and Don were friends for three years before we became, you know, a couple. And then we've been together for like four years. It was going to be four years. So the amount of time that we've spent together and the friendship that we've built and not just our friendship, our entire family, like, has been invested in this relationship. And, you know, it's it's been tough. Like, I'm I'm apologizing to everyone that have been waiting and asking and I've been avoiding you know responding just because I was going through so much and it was hard for me to really open up and talk to you guys and I think that you know being in quarantine and actually sitting down and you know not doing so much work and traveling and working 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 like I'm actually staying home and not doing anything and it's allowed me to think and reflect on a lot of things and I just came back from a girl's trip which I desperately needed I needed to get away um, just because a lot has been happening behind the camera like nobody knows what I've been feeling the pressure I've been feeling the confusion I've been feeling with my family and they are upset you know they are devastated and Yeah, but this is an example of everything looking on the outside, you know, what you're projecting is everything is fine, I'm working, you know, you're staying busy, but then the, what this quarantine is doing is it's, it's forcing you to be in your feelings. You're not surrounded with your friends, you're not out about traveling, you're not busy, you're not going to the gym, you're not running errands, you're not, so you're in your feelings, and this is a really hard place to be. This is when a lot of people turn to alcohol, to drugs, to sex, to throwing themselves into their work. But this is the hardest place to be right now, is being in your feelings. 
But people see that it's like you're not, they see the real you, like you're actually going through something. I feel like this is the last hump that you have to go through. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, like I left off saying that, you know, me and Dawn, we've invested so much and it's definitely affected my family. And you know what? Everything happens for a reason. And a lot of you, you know, were confused because we broke up and then we posted this whole video saying that we needed space you know and honestly that was a period of time when even my family was pressuring me you know his family like i felt so pressured in so many different areas like from you know some friendships and my family and my heart like i'm a very forgiving person but at the same time like i don't forget things that i forgive because anything that causes me to be lied to or anything that makes my trust break like it's very hard trust is such a fragile thing and when you break that it's so hard to build back and you know Don proposed on my birthday last year and you know I had a whole thing planned like I was getting my dress made and I got my bridesmaids and there was there was still you know certain things I feel like in every relationship that we are in you know you you question certain things and like is this it you know and I think it's normal I think it's normal to feel that way but you know this situation with Don there are things that I feel that we individually need to work on and you know what Don did recently was a breaking point for me like I've lost all my trust my heart is shattered and um and yeah, I feel like every person that goes through something like this reaches a breaking point. And I'm not going to get into detail on on what happened, but all I have to say is, you know, I've I've lost my trust and I've given my all and I've tried. And it's been, you know, years of just figuring it out and there's a lot of amazing things that me and Don have done together. There's so many amazing memories that I will never forget. And he, you know, was my best friend. Like, I've created amazing moments with him. But, you know, again, like, everything happens for a reason. And I trust in God. And whatever that happens is, is what God's will is. Because at the end of the day, I can't control what other people do. And at the time when I was going through all of this, and we did the video of taking a break, that was honestly just a band-aid to put over the situation temporarily for me to be able to figure out what I truly wanted to do, what I truly needed to do. And without all of this outside noise of everyone's opinions, you know, and not worrying about what people are going to think, you know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So that's why, like, we did the whole taking a break from each other to, you know, step back from social media because social media, honestly, you guys, if you're in a relationship and you're going to get into social media, like make sure you both want to do it you know it's hard when there's one person that wants to do it more and you don't want to force that on somebody it's not fair the most important part is making sure your relationship is right you and that person and your priorities are right and making sure that he's happy and i'm happy you know but relationships are work it's a lot of work there's a lot of growth there's a lot of change and there's things that us individuals have in our hearts that we go through internally that sometimes we don't share to our partner and it's so important to share that to your partner because no one can read your mind no one can know what you're going through and if you explain it you know i think that in every relationship you have to know how to communicate communication is the biggest biggest thing in a relationship so before quarantine i've been spending a lot of time with my friends literally every day with my friends and my family and staying busy working and just doing so much to keep my mind so busy and honestly it was helping me and now like being in quarantine it's really forced me to be at home and not do anything i mean i'm shooting content obviously but you know there's only so much content you can create and then you just sit there and just like you know think and especially when you're so used to having someone around it's a big change you know because when you're used to having that companion it's weird when they're not there so that's like another transition that i'm going through and just adjusting and 
you know, those little things. And I know whoever's going through like a breakup, you guys know what I'm talking about or have been through a breakup you know anything like that you guys totally get me and for anyone out there that is going through that right this second you know you're not alone you're not alone and you have to stay strong and the number one thing is your happiness and I think that going through this has taught me so much I'm going through changes and I've actually been talking to my life coach that I've been talking to for many years like he's definitely helped me in my relationship and he's helping me get through this and you know, the advice that I would say when you're going through a breakup to help you stay focused is really honing in on things that make you happy. Looking into the future on the things that you could be doing and wanting to do. New hobbies and filling your time with things that just bring joy to your heart and surrounding yourself with people that love you, that uplift you, that, that will remind you who you are. Because sometimes, you know, when you're going through a crappy situation, you're just like, you feel like, you feel like shit and you know people like my sister like she's sitting here right now and she's like helping me through this and it's just you got to have people around you people that love you to support you through this hard time because no one can do it alone like no one can do it alone and and I think that it's good to accept that like you're not alone and you have someone out there like whether it be your family member or a friend like you can open up to them or even go to church like I've been going to church with my family I've been reading books I've been talking to my life coach and it's been getting me through this situation and I feel like I've grown stronger over the past few weeks and over the past few months pretty much me and Don again we are not together we don't hate each other I love Don I wish nothing but the best for him I want him to succeed in anything that he wants to do and I care about him always you know but this is just the way it is right now and whatever God's will is for us in the future is God's will but as of right now like I think it's best for us to be apart I have to say this again your happiness is everything forget what this person's saying forget what that person's saying forget what family member is saying to you like really reflect and see what you want for yourself and i really had to think about that because every time i'm sitting here thinking i'm thinking of other people's feelings because i i always tend to care about everyone else and not worry about myself enough and that's where self-love is so important and that's pretty much what I've been talking about in my previous videos. Just self-love, knowing your worth, never settle for less. And it definitely helps when you just meditate and think about that. And even write it down. Write a note to yourself and put it on the wall. And just every day you wake up, read it to remind yourself. And I think things like that can help help anyone get through whatever they're going through. Is just to remind yourself that you know, you need to focus on you and what makes you happy. I think the most important part is to forgive. You have to forgive, period. Whether it be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your best friend, anything. Because I feel like walking around with unforgiveness in your heart is literally poison that's just sitting in your stomach. And it makes you a bitter person inside and it makes you make bad decisions. And which is why I took a while to talk to you guys because as you can see, I'm such an emotional wreck. Like I cry over just talking about this because it's still so fresh but I had to sit and deal with my emotions the proper way the healthy way not making decisions out of anger or confusion or you know whatever you're feeling you never want to make decisions when you're not in a healthy mindset on the brighter side I wanted to share some exciting news so a few of you know that I had a really big goal and I achieved it 2017 I was able to purchase my first home for my parents and they are here in LA now and it's been something I've been wanting to check off my goals list for so long and I'm just happy that I did but that's not the exciting news the real exciting news that is exciting news but the really really exciting news is that I purchased my second home so I am starting over in a new beautiful home that I'm building from the ground up I get to design everything and it's gonna be done later this year hey guys it's January 19 and I am here standing on my property my future house is going to be right here
So I'm just really looking forward to sharing this experience with you all. I'm gonna have a new place to create more content for all of you, and I just can't wait. I'm already starting to shoot some stuff around that. It's in the process of building. I've been documenting everything, so you're definitely going to see all of that, but I'm just really excited and happy for the future, and I know that God has amazing plans for all of us. We have to stay hopeful. We can manifest amazing things that we truly want in our mind and in our hearts. So whatever you feel, write it down. Whatever you think, write it down. And whatever you want to manifest, write it down. And it's just, it's good to see what you want to achieve on paper or even on your laptop or however you write notes down. But yeah, so a lot of exciting things are planned for 2020. I know I went really deep with this video, but I wanted to share what I've been going through because I feel that you all deserve to know. I share so much with you, so I wanted to let you guys in on what I've been dealing with. Thank you again to all the comments, the messages. I feel the love. I hope this video is inspirational to some of you that may be going through the same thing. But again, thank you for tuning in. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay clean, stay in the house and stay tuned for more content coming soon. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.